Hello, this is a video on how to calculate binomial probabilities. A pharmaceutical company receives a large shipment of pain pills and uses this acceptance sampling plan. They randomly select and test 24 pills. Then they accept the whole batch if there are at most one that doesn't meet the required specifications. So if a particular shipment of thousands of pain pills actually has a 3% rate of defects, what is the probability the whole shipment will be accepted? So you're doing probability that the whole shipment is accepted. Well, let's think about what it means for a shipment to be accepted. It's accepted if there are at most one, at most one, one pills that are defective or doesn't meet the required specifications. So we'll just say defective here. So I'm looking at the behavior of a pill being defective, meaning it doesn't meet the required specifications. So the probability of a success, in this case, a pill being defective, that's the behavior we're looking at, is P equals 0 0.03. So at most one, that means either zero or one pill is defective. If that happens, then we will accept the shipment. If there's two, three, four, and so forth, then the shipment's going to be rejected. All right, so in Google Sheets, you need your number of trials, number of pills you're going through would be 24. Probability of a success, or P, is equal to 0 0.03. And lower bound, upper bound, you're looking at either zero or one pills being defective. So lower bound zero, upper bound's one. Google Sheets, 24 is the number of trials, 0 0.03 is probability of a success, 0 and 1 are your lower and upper bound. And the answer is 0 0.8388, 0 0.8388. So that is the probability that a shipment of pills will actually be accepted in this case.